Hi guys, welcome to today's makeup tutorial featuring my everyday makeup look. I hope you enjoy the video. If you do, please like and subscribe and thanks for watching. So the first product I go in with in the morning is uh, Nivea Q10 Power Cream. And it just looks like this. I usually go in and I just apply a good bit of this after my skincare routine. Let's just ignore the mountain on my face right now. Then I go in with my Maybelline Matte and Poreless and I'm just using the shade 250. And I just pop this on, it is slightly pale for me. I mean, I usually do like to go a shade up, but there's always ways to bronze it up. I always find it hard finding my exact skin colour with products so I do like this one though because it's not heavy coverage unless you want it to be because it is buildable so it's really handy for everyday wear. The concealer I'm using today is a Maybelline Fit Me concealer. Usually I use the e.l.f. concealer every day. But this one's quite nice as well. And this shade is slightly more pink, which is handy because it brightens up your under eyes, especially if you have dark eye bags like I do. And I like to use it to contour. And then another thing I also forgot to mention, on days where I have loads of texture, I also go in with the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. If you have any blemishes or any kind of rust surfaces, it really does hide them perfectly. So definitely recommend this if you do have any texture. So after I've done my concealer, I then usually go in with my highlighter because I feel like it just sinks in better whilst it's wet with the Doll Beauty Shine Bright. So I'm just going to go in with that. It's usually my go-to. And it just applies so nicely onto the skin. It's definitely, if you are more tanned, it's definitely the perfect shade for warm skin tones. And I usually just apply it to the high points while it's wet. And then the next thing I go in with is a setting powder. Normally I use my Laura Mercier one, but I've run out and I'm waiting for my new one to come. So I'm just gonna go in with the e.l.f. HD powder underneath the eyes. And just up the side of my face. Just all those areas where I've applied the concealer. And you don't need too much of this, it's just to set your makeup in place. And I definitely do think it keeps my makeup on all day long. But I'm just using the Maybelline Colossal Big Shot Mascara. So I'm just going to pop this onto my lashes. Next I'm going to go in with a Wet n Wild brow pencil and I usually just go over my brows quite lightly. The next product I'm going to go in with is MAC Dark Deepest. So I'm just going to apply it to my cheeks, just a light dusting. And then some days I just leave it like this. But recently I have been 
mixing it up a bit. The next product I'm going to go in with is NARS Orgasm. This is the duo palette. I just think it's so handy for whenever you're out on the go and you need a bronzer and you need a bit of a glow. So I'm just going to take the Orgasm shade and the same bronzing brush. And I like to take a lot as you can tell. I then mix it with my Kiko I then mix it with my Kiko Smart Colour Blush, sorry. And this is a peachy shade. So I mix these two colours together and I just apply it to the centre of my face. I just feel like these two colours mixed are so nice. And it gives like a soft peach but with a slight shimmer to it. It just adds a bit of a glow to your face. Next I'm going to go in with my eyeliner. The one I go in with is a Maybelline New York Lasting Drama Liquid Ink Liner. And I haven't really found anyone similar to this. So if you do have any recommendations let me know and I'll try out some of this. But I've been using this one literally for years so I just stick with it. Just depending on how I do it but I usually just look down. And sculpt out a line. Just like that. And that is how I normally do my eyeliner. And then for lashes I like to use the Demi Wispies. While I'm letting them dry my daily liquid lipstick is 70 Amazonian by Maybelline. I feel like I do use a lot of Maybelline products but they are really good especially the liquid lipsticks they stay on all day long. I literally weight this as well so it's nice the fact that you can't feel putting them on and then on top of my Maybelline liquid lipstick I usually go in with my celebrity skin liquid lipstick that my sister gave me at Christmas I need to get a new one because I'm severely running out but I just feel like this these two look so nice together. So I'll just apply that on top. Another product I also like to go in with, not all the time, but sometimes is a Soap Brows Brow Soap. And I literally just open it up, spray in any kind of setting spray take the spoolie that it comes with and then just brush it like that and like I said I don't always use this but if I feel like I want more of a fresh look and I feel a bit extra I just set my brows using this and it definitely does make a difference and it adds like more of a fluffy look I you to just brush your eyebrows up And definitely gives them more of a fluffy look. So the last two products I use are the any kind of setting spray just depends whatever I'm feeling and my highlighter which is usually the doll light highlighter. So sometimes I apply it afterwards sometimes I just apply it before and let it sink in. And to be honest it is such a strong highlighter that you could just use it like that and leave it like that. 
just depends on what you like. When do you stop it? So I'm just going to go in with the primer water. Another thing you can do as well, which I actually always forget to do, is if you want to define your jawbone or hide a double chin, which is what I need right now, is just go underneath with your bronzer. And then sometimes as well, if your highlight looks too much of a straight line, you can just go back in and buff that in once the setting spray has dried. But yeah, that. Hey guys, thanks for watching my makeup tutorial today featuring my everyday makeup look. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, please like and subscribe. Thank you.